Hey Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift. We're touching base on your love life, Ophiuchus love life. Uh, thank you for joining me. This will be timeless, meaning whenever you're guided to watch this, if this resonates or triggers, or you simply enjoy hang, hanging out here with me, um, cool, take it or not. Whatever you want. Right, Ophi? Okay. Ophiuchus slash Seeker 13. If you connect to like, most of the signs, all of the signs, none of the signs. When I do Ophiuchus, it's not just the official time-stamped Ophiuchus, uh, that as well, of course, but it's mainly, mostly also for my Secret 13th, okay? All right, I didn't even look at the card that fell because I didn't focus yet. Love Life for Ophiuchus. I didn't focus yet. Cards are jumping, I want to talk. Love life for Fucus for secret. Action. Clear, accurate guidance and messages for love for Fucus, please. What do my serpent bear slash earth dragons need to know? Love for Ophiuchus. Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something. You're letting go of the battle. Did everything I could. Tried everything possible. Now all I am left with is to surrender and seek love inside. Spiritual love. Strength card. I just had a conversation with Pisces, the Pisces reading, the love reading about um, honoring the glorious beast that they are. And I gave the example of a lion in a cage that shouldn't be there. That's the irony of the life that we lead, right? There's such a powerful, magnificent beast. It's, you know, you're only able to watch it because it's behind a cage, but will you face it? Will you face the lion inside what you truly feel who you truly are will you not escape to other people situations dating people you're involved with just to run away from yourself if you're with someone because you want to be with them that's love but if you're with someone or someone's just because you're escaping yourself those means of escaping that's not love. That's not anything, really. It's not even the adventure. The adventure is of love. It's just escaping. But here, you're not doing that anymore, if you did. Strength card. You are facing yourself. As we speak, you are. You're in the journey already. You're, you're in the quest. Five of Wands, you're discovering all the conflict inside that you've been running away from. You're realizing things that you may have been suppressing, um, difficulties that you've been having when it comes to love. And you're just going through that, that quest of discovery and sincerity. You can't resolve an equation without admitting the equation, right? By not looking at it. You're looking at the equation. All the different aspects within you that have been split because of pain, because of trauma, the shattered, broken pieces of your soul. You are now merging them back in soul retrieval and the only way out is in you retrieve your lost pieces of your soul by going fully into the existing ones inside of you and when you know like mercury drops everything always uh, naturally is attracted to its source 
So when you tap into your source, to aspects of you that are true, they become woke, they woke, they become woken, <laughs> sorry. They wake, they echo, they send out a call to their other pieces and thus retrieving them. You don't have to actively do anything to empower yourself and to gain yourself and your power back and your energy back and your faith and love back. All you gotta do is spend some time with you, with your heart, with the aspects that are true. Even if they are conflicted in giving you a headache, you know, it's the, the mind yatter, the monkey mind. Still, you're waking them up. They're echoing. They sent the call for you. And little by little, you're like starting to breathe again as you are. And you know what will happen then, Ophi? When your spirit is back to one and you're back to self, watch Sagittarius, they had similar energy and you are a, you know, a sink, a sink between Sag and Scorpio in a way. So like when you are reminded of who you are, you collapse into yourself. And then when you collapse into yourself and you, vibrate on the frequency that is most authentic to you that's when your person gets the call too show me more for love for a few kiss oh cool eight of wands i have eight i have three eights on the table eight of cups strength card which is eight and eight of wands eight 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 you are breaking the loop this is a very powerful shamanic work that you're doing right now whether you know it or not it is working good job this love will come in or manifest faster than you can blink you think you're heading towards a long time with yourself or not knowing but the fact that you did it that you went there, that you expressed true wholesome will to get to know thyself again, it, it, it's immediate. The universe isn't naturally slow. It's naturally in movement, constant and fast one. It's just the second we drop the limitations And when we're not like, you know, like mosquitoes jumping from one aspect of your spirit to another because it's split and it's like, I don't, can't find myself, you're here. It just happens. They knock on your door, they, they're in your DMs, you're, you're, you're in their dream, Knight of Pentacles. And then there's a practical approach. Three of Wands and the Magician. Very strong manifestation energy. The second it clicks, Ophiuchus, you, you become aware, okay, now I'm ready. Now I can reach out. Now I can try. Now I can connect to this person. Now I can communicate. Now I can try this. Whatever, whatever. King of Wands. If this is someone you're dealing with, they are going through a journey in and 
as soon as all of this clicks, which will happen way faster than you or them think, by the way, they will make a very clear approach. Uh, this king here is triggered by a lot of triggering cards. If this is you, you are going to feel ready sooner than you believe. The hangman. This somewhat contradicts what I just said, but not really. It's like whoever I'm tapped into, right, you or the person that you're dealing with, is going through uh, a reversal of, um, of um, perception when it comes to love, partnership. And it's like they're willing to make the sacrifices that they weren't willing to make until now because until now it looked like a sacrifice, but now they realize it's not a sacrifice, it's power. Something about the way they translate all of this is reversing, right? Good one, Ophiuchus, good one. Cool. Okay, if you want to go deeper into an extended, love extended for you and your person of interest by the month and by your zodiac, uh, that includes Ophiuchus, join Patreon. Link is below. You have all the signs for unlimited streaming for this month and past months. So you can just go back and forth. Um, and see what happened then and with this person and that you know you know you know the works also there's other yummy vip stuff over over there daily rune messages lunar love readings karmic shift and liberation special project that i did for the year 2020 and the 2020s as a decade when it comes to our karma and the um you know earth split um i would love to have you join there it will make me really happy it will also support the channel and me so win-win yay um, if you want to study how to be a Tarochi or go through a shamanic journey with me, stay tuned for the last minute of this video for information. Check out your other placements. Subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're new. Uh, that's it. Stay magic. Stay true. I love you. Bye. The wheel of life speaks the laws of love. Hello there, beautiful Tarot team. Again, the existential shift here. You want to undergo a true spiritual quest, a shamanic journey, the path of the heart to discover the bunkai, the secret applications of tarot. You are so fed up with the superficial books you can find everywhere, with information that you can find everywhere. What about the deep stuff from different cultures, different times in history? What about the other occult systems within it, like astrology, numerology, Kabbalah, Greek mythology? I've put all of it with the 90 pre-recorded classes that I made just for you, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, hour long, within my own private living room with me. Feels like a one-on-one. -on -one. And you get to truly learn tarot. Go to vimeo.com slash on demand slash tarot masterclass or click the direct link below in the description box.